Developments in the clergy sex abuse crisis come more people calling for Bishop Richard Malone's resignation. An organization called the Movement to Restore Trust has been working with the bishop for months, but it has now reached the conclusion that it's time for Malone to step down. Two on your side's Jackie Roberts tells us what led to that decision. On Wednesday, Bishop Richard Malone called a news conference to address what appears to be yet another scandal within the Catholic Diocese of Buffalo. Organizing committee members of the Movement to Restore Trust, or MRT, say that was the tipping point. Sometimes when a leader has been kind of the, come the, you know, the focus of uh, a lot of disagreement, that leader just loses all you know, effectiveness, and we think that's what's happened. The organization released this statement, calling on the bishop to resign immediately. The statement goes on to say, the diocese is at a critical point in that further progress is not possible. To fully understand what this decision means, we have to take a look back. MRT is an independent group made up of influential Catholics. The organization was created last year to help restore confidence in the church in the wake of concerns about the handling of the clergy sex abuse crisis. For the last nine months, the group has been working closely with the bishop. We had to see what progress we could make uh, with respect to the victims and with respect to process uh, before we reached any conclusions. And Green says the unanimous conclusion is that the bishop is no longer fit to run the diocese after they say he's mishandled current cases of abuse. And this comes just one day after Malone told reporters most priests and laypersons still support him. I think the ones who would like to see me move on are truly the minority. If I felt like a majority of my clergy felt I could no longer properly lead the diocese with them because the bishop does not lead by himself or he's a poor leader, um, then I'd have to rethink my, my commitment. We reached out to the diocese again tonight to ask the bishop if he's now considering resignation. Just within this last hour, we got a response saying due to his full schedule, he will not be releasing a statement tonight, but he will soon. We also got an email saying Niagara University has canceled a planned listening session for next week. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.